I'm, I'm smelling all types of funny. How to tell my friend they smell. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yes, I'm sitting right here. Y'all are seeing me right now. Maybe not live. Oh, baby, we live. Hello, 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 everybody. And welcome back to your girl's channel. It's me, Chloe as me. For real, back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, as you all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be answering you guys' juicy hygiene questions. Yes, ma'am. But before we go ahead and hop into that, I know y'all see the new hairstyle. Yes, ma'am, it's short. It's, it's getting pretty short, but it's healthy. I feel great about it. For for some reason, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but for some reason when I get like extremely stressed out and like depressed, which I was like a couple years back and I cut my hair or I got it cut by my mama because my mama is a cosmetologist, so she did it again. I want a new hairstyle. You know, like I just be wanting something new, something fresh, some new confidence, a new look. And so baby, I decided, I know y'all heard that. They slamming stuff up there, so we gonna stay peaceful. Back to what I was saying, which I forgot. But uh, I'm wearing a new hairstyle. And baby, I'm feeling so confident. Like, it's not like super fresh how it was because I got it done like a week ago. But thank you so much, mama, because baby, I look good. I'm going for more natural lashes. We trying new looks, okay. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I really want to go ahead and just say thank you guys so much for all of the love, all of the support, all of the defending. Like, you don't know how much love you got and how much support you got until you got like I've had it, but my eyes have been super open to it like crazy because of everything that has been going on online. I know some people don't want me to talk about it no more, but you know, it's my platform. I kind of do what I want. My name ain't, si my name, <laughs> girl. My name ain't signed to nobody so I can say what I want, you know? But anyways, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. My sisters have been showing extreme support, extreme love, extreme comforting, motivating. I don't know where I was going with that, but y'all get the point. Like, oh my gosh, my sister seriously showed out and I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't know what I would have done had you guys not been here for me throughout this whole entire process. I don't know what I would have done in any way, shape or form, you know, if I didn't have my girls out there and my sisters out there being like, hey sis, I'm here. We're gonna fight to the end. I heard somebody say something about uh, holy hands. My mom told me somebody said something about, girl, we we throw these holy hands. <laughs> you know, so the support has been absolutely wild. And it seriously did flood out all the little haters. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. And I'm also like so excited to go ahead and get back and be there for you guys, how you guys have been there for me. Because when I tell y'all my sister's been holding strong, they ain't go away because I ain't been uploading. Y'all just been trying to, you know, build me back up again and get me to a point where I feel free and comfortable on my own platform. And words can't explain how much, you know, I really appreciate you guys. And it really opened up my eyes as well to see like how similar, similar you guys are to me because a lot of y'all are like, we could be twins. So I wanted to go ahead and give a special shout out to all of my sisters out there. And even my brothers, cause I had my bros hitting me up too, talking about some girl. Don't let them get to you sis, like, cause we here for you. And I also want to go ahead and give a special thanks to my family. You know, my family has seriously been there for me. Like even family that I'm not like too, super cool with, they like, look, we ain't putting up with this junk. But most importantly, my mama because like my mama really gets me and I'm just like a mini version of her so like if anybody gets me it's my mom and she's really just been there for me this whole entire time fighting with me not like fighting with me but like fighting the fight with me lifting me up you know for some reason you know nobody can speak to me and get to me how my mama does but most most importantly the Lord Jesus Christ because all glory and thanks to him because I know he sent y'all like he has sent the people when you need them he has sent the right people when you need them okay and I'm just so grateful I'm grateful to Jordan for also being there for me I have so much grateful and thankfulness in my heart it just it makes my heart happy okay so I just want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much because without you guys I would not be sitting here right now I don't like to cry cuz I ain't trying to cry I have a couple things in line that I wanted to go ahead and like share with you guys so I have on here perfume of the day. So I really want to go ahead and start sharing my perfume of the day. Sometimes your girl gets so excited. I talk so fast and get ahead of myself. So we, we can't do that today. So uh, perfume of the day. I am just wearing this. It is the Good Girl Laguerre by Carolina Herrera. This right here is just like a more powdery, soft twist on the original Good Girl by Carolina. 
spirulina herrera so y'all know like good girl is like little coffee tonka sandalwood little jasmine i feel like this has more jasmine and more of like a powdery floral twist to it perfume of the day yes ma'am that junk smells so good a little story time because i do not like people smelling like me but i'm gonna go around the story so this person ain't like getting offended because she was a sweet girl but um it was my mom's birthday and i bought her an hermes perfume herms Herm i say hermes sounds more fancy to me and i bought her the twilly hermes perfume and the girl was like hey like what are you guys talking about i'm like girl i'm talking about perfume uh you want to go ahead and try mine out so i had this on that day i let her spray she was like oh my gosh girl like this smells so good i'm like yeah i'm wearing it today too like we you know but i went home and changed my outfit so i could put on a different perfume because i ain't trying to like you know like when people say you smell good i want to be able to say thank you different scents what's your favorite i'm just <laughs> Oh. Like I'm a real friend, but you know, I don't want to be the same. A little off topic, but uh, perfume of the day, yes ma'am. And then I wanted to go ahead and share some scripture out of this beautiful Coach notepad my mom bought me. When I tell you my mom has been spoiling me, girl, I don't know, she bought me a dang two Coach notepads, a Coach pencil holder, and a new Coach bag. Let me show y'all my bag. Like, no, because girl, are y'all seeing this? Like, it is gorgeous. So thank you, mama. I've been gone for so long, it's so much I want to talk about. Like, I got a new desk set up yesterday, so I can go ahead and like sit here and talk in my beautiful living room. I pulled that out of my vanity office. I don't know what the heck to call it. Pulled that out of there and put that right there with a candle on top. It's looking good. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But like I said, I want to go ahead and share some scripture because I have been using this as like a super productive like notepad. This one right here is so powerful, y'all. And we all need this. I don't care what nobody's saying. We all need it. Proverbs 20, 24. Since the Lord is directing our steps, why try to understand everything that happens along the way? Sometimes we literally drill ourselves into the ground trying to understand every little thing. And we're just not gonna be able to understand every little thing. So, since we know that the Lord Jesus Christ is directing our steps, let's not try to understand everything along the way. Cause in the end, he gonna show up and show out just like you do every time okay now i'm gonna say this right now because this really stuck out to me only because i have struggled with it and from time to time i still struggle with it so as a christian woman sometimes i do get a little a little envious of you know people that are i want to say this the right way but let me read it first because <laughs> this might help me say it what i need to say the first one says and it's proverbs 23 17 and 18 don't envy evil men but continue to reverence the Lord all the time for surely you have a wonderful future ahead of you this is hope for you yet and then the second one Proverbs 24 19 and 20 don't envy the wicked don't covet his riches for the evil man has no future his light will be snuffed out so as a Christian woman sometimes I look at other women and I'm just like man like you know they go about a whole different path they on a whole different journey whole different path and not even in a good way and they're financially straight like riding around in Rolls Royces 50,000 shopping sprees and I'm financially stable but just me being a Christian woman a strong Christian woman and holding strong to my morals sometimes I'm like Lord you know so when I read that, that really hit the spot. Because when you are, you know, doing your best to stand on solid ground as a Christian woman or a Christian man, and then you look over, you got people out here just wow, just doing just about anything. And they living good. That's just a little hurtful just sometimes. So he says, do not envy the evil man, but continue to reverence the Lord all the time. For surely you have a wonderful future ahead of you. There is hope for you yet. Don't envy the wicked. Don't covet his riches or her riches. For the evil man has no future. His light will be snuffed out. Girl, we got a future ahead of us we gonna stick strong on the word and stay in Christ's presence and we gonna be all right okay we gonna be all right we gonna be all right so I thought I'd go ahead and share them scriptures with y'all I know I don't really do like scriptures in the beginning of my videos but I feel like if I'm doing a sit down video it'll be super cool just to go ahead and add that in there real quick give some you know afternoon or morning encouragement and with that being said I've been filming for that long let's go ahead and hop into what this video is all about so I have a lot of questions written down here about 13 questions which is a good amount because I'm gonna try to take my time with each and every one of them and these questions I asked my girls on snapchat if y'all would send me some juicy hygiene questions now I ain't getting none too juicy but they juicy enough so let's go ahead and hop into these hygiene questions baby I'm excited y'all I really want to go ahead and start stemming out doing more hygiene content again because since I've been gone like I've been obsessing over hygiene again and I think it'll be super fun to go ahead and start another hygiene series how I used to get my little fire and my little passion back for it drinking on a Centron energy drink thank you guys so much for sending me so many energy drinks me and Jordan be taking these to the head okay super um super licious licious 
Ooh, my face get red. Lord knows I look like my daddy's side of the family. All right. First question first. Have you ever had an odor story where you were told you smelled? Oh my gosh. So actually, no, I've never been told that I smelled. Thank you, Lord, because that would have shot my confidence because it's something about smelling good. Like, I don't care what I look like. When I smell good, baby, we good. Like, we're, we're straight. Like, I smell amazing. Like, don't tell me. You ain't never seen no ugly dude, but then he smell good. So it's like, so what is your name again? Because I think you told me, but what's your name? So anyways, um, this particular story, first of all, I love Jordan so much. Like, I ain't even gotta really say it because it's eighth grade. Love him so much, it ain't nothing like that. So anyways, but I had a very big crush on this guy in eighth grade. And when I tell y'all I was so insecure in eighth grade, this boy liked me and I would not allow, like, I do like a little bit of a backstory. I just came to this school, it's this really cute dude. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And um, I go to an assembly and I'm talking to one of my friends cause I had knew her from a previous school. And she was like, man, that boy is so cute. Like, oh my gosh, I'm like, girl, right? She was like, no, because actually you guys would be perfect. So what's the word? I'm like, like, I'm good. She goes and asks him, like, you want to be her girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. He was like, oh, absolutely. I said to him on the bus later on that day, I didn't really know him like that. I said, bro, that, that ain't gonna work. I'm not sure why she came up to you and told you that, but I'm okay. And the only reason why I did that was because, first of all, scared of having a boyfriend, didn't really see a purpose in it, but also because I was, I felt, I was about to say I was so ugly. No, I felt that I was so hideous and so ugly. My teeth were like, oh, I was so insecure. So I just never wanted to date anybody that I felt that I wasn't good enough for, which is absolutely terrible. Absolutely not it. Little did I know everybody really liked me because my my personality was popping and I was not ugly at all. Like you be looking back at me and like, girl, you were insecure for what? Like, oh my gosh, just torturing your own self. No, these demons really be torturing these children and us as well, adults, you know. Anyway, girl, back to the story. So like I said, never been told I smelled, but this particular day I was um, on my menstrual cycle and totally forgot to bring wipes and an extra pad, etc., etc. So I've had the same pad on all day. Us girls know seven to eight hour day of, like, day of school. Like after that, like, I'm, I'm smelling all types of funny. Okay, so I'm just trying to get home. So I get on the bus, I sit down. This is like months after we've gotten super close. We're cool, blah, blah, blah. He come wanna sit right next to me this particular day on the bus, okay? He wanna touch my arm and, and do all of this flirting stuff. And I'm just sitting there literally like this. I cross my legs, I'm like, okay, boy, but please get away from me, cause honey, and I'm smelling myself. This is such an embarrassing story and he won't leave me alone. And I'm just like, yeah, you so cute, but we can't listen. Like, I just wanna go home and get in the shower. Like out of all the time in the world that you had to come and like converse with me, you wanna pick right now. Not converse, but like get super close. Like I'm like, dude, why you gotta do all of this right now? Seriously, like bro, you could have picked tomorrow when I learn from my mistake today. And he's just giddy, giddy, giddy. But I knew I smelled some type of way. So that is one embarrassing story that I have about me smelling some type of way. He didn't say anything, but yeah. So please, always remember your wipes. You can freshen up a bunch of different pads, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gotta get into all of that. I got a period kit video linked down below with everything y'all need in y'all period kit. Second question, how do I stay dry and fresh? Okay, girl, I get it. Because us women that have like heavy discharge, it's uncomfortable, but after a while it does hold an odor because moistness and walking around, especially when it's hot, it just creates some kind of odor. So I will say this because I am one of those women that do kind of struggle but I don't really want to say struggle, but I just have like heavy discharge. I'm not really sure if it's the amount of water that I drink because when you're heavily hydrated, I do feel like you have a lot more discharge. So this is my trick. I will change my underwear 10 times a day if I have to, because for me, I can get very, very, very sweaty and my underwear will be fully sweated out, drenched out. I have discharge, it's uncomfortable. It's just like, it's not it anymore. So what I personally do is I will wipe myself right before I go ahead and put on a fresh pair of dry underwear. But my trick is to always change your underwear. Now I do a little bit better in the winter time not having to change my underwear so much, but I will tell you this right now, changing your underwear, girl, is like one of the best tips I could give you for staying dry and fresh. Like not dry as in like unhealthy dry, but just staying, you know, moist and fresh. So my tip to you is wipe up each and every time with a baby wipe or the unscented summer's eve wipes. After that, you know, I get like a paper towel, dry it out or blow and then put on fresh dry underwear and that will literally save you. And remember sis, we are not supposed to smell like flowers and cookies and lemon spice. I don't even think that's the thing because that's not really nasty, but no babe, we're not supposed to smell like that. I know a lot of people think that fresh means smelling like perfume or soap down there and that's not what it is. We all have a 
natural scent. There's so many different natural scents that gynecologists have videos on. Um, personally, my natural scent is more of like, this sounds bad, but like more of like a mustier scent. So the only thing that basically what I've tried to conquer and that I have conquered is not getting it to come back so fast. You know what I mean? So anyways, yeah, girl. Question number three, how to get a clean shave. So with this, I'm not gonna go into detail because I literally have a whole video on my updated feminine shaving routine. I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below as well. Oh my gosh, when I tell y'all that shaving routine has literally saved me. Your girl didn't wanna go to none of the swimming parties cause you know, it was red, itchy, burning, bumps, all that type of stuff. Got tired of it, I'm very prone to it. And I'm not sure if that has to do with like me just being more prone to like acne and bumps like that cause y'all know your girl's skin is like, you know. No shame though, baby, we all beautiful and it don't make you any less beautiful. You might feel like that sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I struggle with that like daily, but baby, we are so beautiful. You don't have to have glass clear skin to be beautiful, but girl, I do have a whole entire video on how to get a nice clean shave and that's gonna be linked down below. And all of the materials in that video are up on my Amazon storefront. How do I keep my hair smelling good from a distance? Okay, now this one right here is for the girls that flat iron their hair and also for the girls that wear their hair natural. I'll be right back, I gotta go grab some stuff cause I gotta collect my hair products that keep my hair smelling good. Okay girl, we got the cereals, we got the cereals. Okay, so I'm gonna start off for straight hair because right now my hair is straightened and we all know you cannot put water and sprays in your hair when it's straightened cause baby we about to go back to curly. I cannot wait to uh, wash my hair because I love curly hair. Like I love my hair being curled. Do not, do not get me wrong, like this is cute. But it's just like seasoning to my body, my hair. Love my hair y'all, I love my hair. So for my girls that flat iron their hair, dry shampoo. The best dry shampoo for all hair types. My mom loves it, I love it. It is the bomb for males and females. It is the Sol de Janeiro Hair Dry Shampoo. When I tell y'all this stuff is so strong, some people don't like it because of how strong it is, but I love it because of how strong it is. You will smell this from a distance. This is absolutely amazing. Makes your hair smell so fresh. And it just smells like the Choroso, Choroso 62 scent. If you guys are familiar with it, it's beautiful. It's like a salted, it's gonna sound gross. Cause I don't like all of that baked good salted caramel, you know, stuff. So let me go ahead and look up what it smells like. And I wish that y'all could like smell it right now if you haven't, which I'm pretty sure the whole world has, but hey. Gourmand notes of salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine, and vanilla. Okay, so that is what that smells like. And oh my gosh, a little bit goes a long way, honey. This right here, spray it on your scalp. Let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute. Go ahead and rub it all in. It's gonna absorb that oil and it's also gonna make your scalp smell absolutely amazing. I do suggest kind of like running it down with the brush so your hair also smells good. But I also suggest using a good smelling oil and y'all know I have the matching oil. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Charosa 62 um, Fragrance Nourishing Hair Oil. And this stuff smells so good. And with me having dry hair, I use this like a lot. So this is absolutely amazing. It smells good, it works. And baby, that's how you keep your hair smelling fresh while it's straightened. Cause Lord knows I can't deal with that fried smell, like that nasty flat iron smell. And I also leave my hair like this for a while when I put heat on it just to go ahead and make it worth it. Cause baby, I rarely ever put heat on my hair. Dry shampoo, because what was I saying? Wait. That stuff works. I just lost my track of thought, but I'm pretty sure y'all just got everything I meant to say. I like my hairstyle to last a good amount of time, so I use my little dry shampoo and stuff like that. Anyway, my forehead is huge, that's why I keep turning like this so y'all can see my ponytail, because it makes my forehead not look so big, because like when you like this, we're giving lemon head, we're giving potato. That's okay, it's okay. Big forehead vibes, you know? Let me stop, yeah. Now, for when your hair is natural and it's natural stay, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, I still suggest this dry shampoo. Girl, I use the dry sh shampoo all around, girl. I use the dry shampoo all the time when my hair is curly, flat iron, blow dry, whatever the heck, baby, we use this. Okay, this stuff is the bomb. I'm not kidding. Same exact thing. Spray it on your scalp, 30 to 30 seconds to a minute, and then rub it all through. But this time, don't brush it through. Because I know for me, my hair will be looking like, um, so I don't brush it through. I just do the scalp. And then I go in with some kind of, you know, hair perfume hair spray, whatever the heck. So the cheaper version would be like a Pacifica hair and body mist. This one is the Flower Moon. I'm not like the biggest fan of this. I think this smells like the, I think this is the one that smells like uh, the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. I'm not a big fan of that at all. It smells so not it to me. So they have a lot of these hair and body mist and these are very, you know, non-damaging to the hair and they really do last and make your hair smell good. You know, if you want to focus, I would love that. That would be so good. Thank you so much. Um, So yeah, they have these hair and body mist. You can go ahead and spray this all 
throughout your hair and have your hair smelling nice. But for the expensive, you know, alternative, cause y'all know I do a lot of things the more expensive way, only because like things just be lasting so much longer and there's just so much more concentrated. So I bought hair perfumes. Now I have the Carolina Herrera one, which is actually probably the strongest one. So let me go grab it. Girl, I don't know where the heck I put that dang bottle. So I do have a brand new box. It's gonna come in a box like this and it's gonna look just like this. This is the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera hair perfume. I had found out about this on TikTok um, like a year and a half ago. And when I tell you guys, this dang hair fragrance lasts so long in your hair, days, days and days and days and days. It's very strong, it's very concentrated and it just smells exactly like the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera fragrance. A little pricey, a little pricey, but baby, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what we gotta do. I really believe in investing into yourself. I know times are very hard right now with everything that's going on in the world, but when you can, I do truly believe in investing into yourself because whether it's, you know, investing into your look or it's investing into your smell, at the end of the day, when you feel ugly or when you feel like you're not confident, you act that way. So I am a very strong and true believer in treating yourself and going out and doing things for yourself. So anyway, with that being said, I don't mean to like give a speech, um, but I also have two other hair fragrances. Now this is Jordan's favorite and this is the Dylan Turquoise by Versace. This is a hair fragrance. I bought all of these on the Macy's website Um, and then the Pacifica can be found at Target or Ulta. And then y'all know about the Versace Bright Crystal. This is the hair fragrance. Now I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna buy this again. I'm just gonna spray this straight perfume inside of my hair because I don't think that it has that many different ingredients for the hair. And I just feel like they're both drying at the end of the day. So you don't wanna use too much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my regular fragrances for my hair. But they do have hair perfume. If you wanna go ahead and just feel like a little bit more like you're doing something. And that is how I get my um, hair to smell amazing and how I get a lot of compliments. Yes, ma'am. And that is of course, apart from a good shampoo and conditioner that smells really nice um, and a good hair cream, you know, that smells really nice. So anyways, next um, we have a bonus question here. Now I thought this question was very interesting. So it is, how do you feel about females using hygiene as a hookup culture? Like I'm pretty sure this has to do with the whole, I don't want to say it. So B appointments, like getting ready for a B appointment, you know, like I don't really want to say it cause I just feel like that's not me. So I've seen so many videos on that. Like every single time I look at a hygiene channel, it's like like those are guaranteed to be shown. And I will say this, girl, I don't give a crap about what other people got going on in their life. I just feel like you do you, you create the kind of content that you wanna do. You go ahead and show, you know, what you truly do. But I just feel like this and I don't, I've never watched one. So I would say if they don't and if they haven't, Please make it clear to all of my young women out here and all of my women period and the young girls that we should not be taking care of ourselves just for men. Now y'all know I'm not here to promote fornication or anything of the sort, but what I'm saying is if you're going to do a video like that, just make it clear to all these babies out here and all these women out here, you know, that you take care of yourself for you and we should not be taking care of our taking care of ourselves for you know men we gotta do it for ourselves and love ourselves because i always say this you be taking care of yourself for somebody and as soon as you don't even give a crap about the dang person no more you just like hey do you i do me you gonna stop taking care of yourself because it's like you were doing it for that person so baby just do it for you that's all i gotta say so i don't care about what folks got going on in their life and how they choose to go about it but i would just say you know we gotta be careful with how we're displaying certain things because things can get twisted and you know i feel like women have been doing things for men um for so many years and we got to break out of it we got to break out of it we do it for us and i know when somebody's saying i'm doing this for me and it's really not for you you know what i'm saying so i would just say girl like i said you do it for your confidence and your your uh comfort and you question number five how do you keep your downstairs area fresh all day yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am but i'm gonna go ahead and say it again fresh does not mean flowers perfume bath and body works victoria's secret snuggle detergent you know what i mean like so i'm sure that's not really what you meant by the question but just for anybody out there thinking that that's what fresh is throw that in the gutter because baby that's not what fresh is there's something absolutely wrong if your downstairs area smells like perfume or bath and body work shower gel that's not good and that will lead to something bad that's why y'all know I don't care for all of the uh, Vagisil Summer's Eve stuff because baby I'm going to smell natural and I'm going to let my body do what it needs to do okay so as far as fresh my considered fresh is just having my natural scent not be so powerful if that makes sense you know like I like to smell like nothing for a good amount of time 
time after, after the shower. And then by the end of the day, my natural scent, I want it to be pretty faint. So that's kind of like my definition of fresh. That's just how I go by fresh and everything of the sort because at the end of the day, baby, we gonna all have our natural scents come back, okay? But to keep that natural scent at more of a minimum, I will share with you what I choose to do on a daily basis. First things first, I drink a ton of water. When I tell you guys, water is gonna make the biggest difference in your hygiene. It's gonna make the biggest difference in your breath, in your armpits, in your behind, in your downstairs area, all over your body. Drinking water is seriously going to benefit your hygiene game. I'm not playing. Water, 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 water. When I tell you, especially if you're living somewhere like Cali, Florida, girl, please stay up on your water. I was only in Miami for three days, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. If I didn't drink a lot of water, I would have been smelling like all types of lions and uh birds so i'm not you know i'm not gonna sit up here and lie if i don't drink my water and stay up on my cleansing and i'm back on my probiotics girl i can get all types of funky so we're not gonna play the game so i drink a lot of water invest into your body like not invest but like take care of yourself so drink some water cleanse your lady bits every single day sometimes twice a day because sometimes i want to take a shower in the morning time and at night time you feel what i'm saying if i had a long day so my favorite feminine wash at the moment you guys know i use only baby soaps i love baby dove i love love this Cetaphil wash and I also have been loving this CeraVe wash and shampoo. This stuff is fragrance free and it doesn't add like any moisture downstairs so I know some lotion-y soaps can make your odor come back or your natural scent come back a little bit faster. So this is my um, feminine wash of choice. Like I said I have a lot of different kinds but right now I'm using this one and a tip with whatever soap you are using to clean your lady bits switch it out switch it out switch it out as soon as you are starting to notice that it's not working as good as it once was switch it out try something new like i go between baby dove this cetaphil try something new or try something that you're already familiar with that works that doesn't irritate you does nothing of the sort no fragrance guys and then come back to it once you're noticing that that one's not working as good either because at the end of the day but we got to switch out our products because our body for some reason gets adjusted and becomes used to whatever we're using and it just does not work anymore your body's now fighting is overtaking that you know what I mean so get you a nice little baby so a nice little baby washcloth cleanse your lady bits twice very good every single day now I have that as well in my feminine you know shaving video um how I clean my downstairs area how I clean my lady bits I got up showed y'all how I did it everything of the sort that's in there I also love to take my azo complete feminine balance daily probiotic um I had stopped using it for a long time because I noticed I didn't really need it no more but lately I was like okay I, I see my natural scent trying to come back a little strong good after I get at the shower so we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna attack it with this so I'm back on it and it's been working Working amazing it is the azo complete feminine balance daily probiotic you can get this on um, amazon i do have it on my amazon storefront which i do earn a small commission i would greatly appreciate it if you guys did purchase some things on there um that you like or that you've been wanting but if not baby we no pressure baby no pressure so these are a daily supplement that i do take it is the azo daily probiotic for feminine balance this really does help with your odor and your ph balance and everything of the sort that is absolutely amazing i'm not playing i switch out my underwear when needed i wipe up when needed with the baby wipe and there was something else i was gonna say oh you have to occasionally take some baths when i tell y'all baths are not odor out the water there was one point where I was taking a bath every single day. I go through like super obsessive hygiene phases and then like other times I'm like, okay girl, you know, I'm just here to take care of my body. But then there's times where I'm like, I don't want no odor. Like I don't want nothing. Like I want absolutely nothing and baths are the way to go. I'm not kidding. Try to soak your downstairs area in some nice warm and hot water. I gotta make an updated bath routine because when I tell y'all them baths get me right, ain't nothing coming back for forever, it feel like. That was a dang lie. But you guys know what I'm saying? Like baths knock odor out the water. When it comes down to your behind your downstairs area, that's no lie. Bathe occasionally. Clean your downstairs area once or twice a day with the unscented fragrance-free soap. If you're switching over from a soap like Vagisil and Summer's Eve, give us some time, baby. We got to go ahead and, you know, get the process right. So your, your body got to go ahead and purge, you know, everything else out and get used to the unscented soap. Take your little daily probiotic. That junk works so well. Drink your water. Change your underwear. There's a lot that goes into feminine hygiene, and those right there are the way to go. Speaking of underwear, I got to go ahead and wash my underwear. Y'all know I wash my underwear separate 
were in like um, fragrance free soap and stuff like that. So anyway, question number six, is there a proper way to shower in steps? Girl, yes there is. So this is my steps when I shower. If I have to wash my hair, I will wash my hair first. Wash it up, put the conditioner in, leave the conditioner, you know, up, leave it in my hair. Yes ma'am, because I love my Olaplex, so I leave it in. Wash your body real good, two to three times. Lately it's just been two for me, so I wash my body up real good, two times, two times, two times. Clean my behind, it's a whole separate routine. I have a video on that as well. I'll go ahead and link down below my behind hygiene, because baby, we, listen, we have conquered and beat the behind odor. With behind, you gotta go ahead and wipe up as well throughout the day if you are experiencing any kind of um, comeback odor. If I'm shaving that day, then I go ahead and exfoliate. If I wanna go ahead and exfoliate, then I'll shave, rinse the stuff out my hair. Then last but not least, baby, we wash our downstairs area. The very last thing, I wanna make sure that I got everything right in order, but the very last thing you want to do in the shower is cleanse your lady bits. This is the tip that I have been giving for so long. I be seeing my tips plastered on people's videos with no credit, but that's okay, the proof is in the pudding. So anyways, wash your lady bits last. Wash those lady bits last because let me tell you something, while you're washing your body, all of that stuff runs down and you do not want it to run onto your downstairs area and then you become irritated, start getting an odor, because your shampoo and your body wash and your bar soap and your body scrub is all downstairs. We don't want that. So the last thing we do is we cleanse our lady bits. Question number seven, how can I make my armpits not stink? I wear deodorant daily. Girl, I feel you because I'd be like, I thought this deodorant work. But y'all know I always tell you guys to go ahead and get some exfoliating gloves and really scrub those underarms and get all of that soap off of your underarms. I mean, all of the deodorant off of your underarms because we be layering deodorant back on top of our underarms not knowing that we still have old layers and that causes odor. So I always suggest and the, like the best combination to get it off of your underarms, like to get the um, deodorant off of your underarms is exfoliating gloves and dial bar soap. Dial bar soap just cut straight through it. So I go ahead, I clean up very well, very well, very well. Exfoliating your armpits is a very big deal when it comes down to being musty and stuff like that. So sorry y'all, that was a little loud. But uh, exfoliate and cleanse your armpits and change out your deodorant. Let me go grab my favorite deodorant at the moment because when I tell y'all this deodorant is so good, baby, it's good and my mama put me on. Here we are. You guys know I have so many favorite deodorants, but like my favorite right now is this new degree advanced 72 hour motion sense deodorant. They have a lot of different scents, but this is the one that I picked up. It's the nonstop antiperspirant deodorant. When I tell y'all this junk works so good, I'm not playing. So you really want to go ahead and rotate your deodorants because my armpits be getting used to deodorant so fast. I also make sure that my deodorant are pretty shaved and everything like that because I do notice that when my armpits are more hairy, they do hold more odor and I sweat a lot more. So exfoliate, cleanse your um, underarms very consistently and go ahead and try out this new Degree Men's 72 hour motion sense um, deodorant. It's amazing, you guys. Those are my tips for underarms. I do feel like I need to get more into studying and, and testing more on the underarms. But for me, if I feel like I still over sweated that day and still not over sweated, but sweated a lot that day and still have like a little bit of funky odor on my on my underarms. I go ahead, I change my shirt, I wipe my underarms, put a fresh new layer on, put some new little body spray on, and I just kind of keep going, you know? The angle has changed, my bad, my bad, my camera died. I had to go ahead and switch out the battery, so I'm sure the angle's not the same. But anyways, the next question is, what is the best body wash? I'm a little nervous on this one, only because I love so many different body washes, but like, if I'm talking about my favorite at the moment. First things first, you guys know I really love that soft soap, coconut butter, scrub body wash. I love that stuff, you guys. Literally, that body wash is so amazing. It smells super coconutty. It helps with my body acne. It exfoliates. It's great. I love that soap. So that's the soft soap, coconut scrub body wash. But then I think y'all also know how I feel about this. This is the literal only soap that I use today. It is the Dove Refreshing Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash. When I tell y'all this body wash is so fire, I'm not playing. This body wash smells so so strong the lather is so beautiful it's such a refreshing you know body wash and it just works so good I can never get tired of this and I also love the bar soap of this so good so I definitely suggest this Dove cucumber and green tea 
And then I gotta get back to Victoria's Secret ASAP because I wanna go buy five more bottles of this. I'm almost done with this one and I didn't know that I was gonna love it. Water just got straight on my face. Now y'all know how weird I am about stuff getting on my face because my acne. So um, let me go get a paper towel. But girl, oh my gosh. I'm not playing when I say this is like my top fave at the moment. Y'all know I go through like at the moment phases. I love the champagne grapes and rose um, body wash from Beauty Love and Planet. Oh my gosh, absolutely amazing, beautiful, beautiful. But like for some reason, I haven't ever had a body wash scent stick to my skin the way this one does. This is the Victoria's Secret Pink Coconut Oil Cocoa Scrub Wash. Baby, I don't know if you tried it, but baby, if you haven't, oh my, and you love coconut scents, this is a very beautiful, like creamy twist to like coconut. Oh my gosh, yo. This is so good, y'all. I used this for the first time, and I will say, when I used it for the first time, I used it um with the pink bar soap by Dove. Beautiful mix, beautiful. I couldn't believe how my body smelled like this and I kept smelling it and kept smelling it and kept, I'm like, girl, when is it gonna go, go away? Because it don't smell that strong in the shower. It don't even smell that strong when you smell it, but it sticks to the skin, especially the underarms. Oh my gosh. If you can make a dry shampoo, a toothpaste, a Buddha wash, everything in this scent, I greatly appreciate it, Pink. Thank you. I have to go and get me some more of that. So, Mom, Jordan, anybody that's watching this, we gotta go to Victoria's Secret, like ASAP, because I wanna go buy more. So, who's gonna go with me? I, uh, my family is not comfortable with me going out by myself no more. So, I don't think y'all gonna be seeing me out by myself no more, because we gotta be smart with everything that's going on. And my family said, no, no. So, who gonna go out with me next? Question number nine, how to freshen up during the day. So, I need to make an updated one. But as for right now, I do have a how to freshen up without a shower video. I made that when I first moved into my apartment because I literally was like on a crazy schedule and literally wouldn't even have time to shower. So I want to go ahead, well I have it linked down below, how I freshen up every single day. Not every single day. How I freshen up without a shower when I need to freshen up. I have that full video up on my channel. Y'all gotta go ahead and watch it. I don't wanna go into detail because it's so much and that video literally covers every little thing you guys need to know about freshening up throughout the day or during the day blah, blah blah so yeah without a shower question number 10 how often should i wash my washcloth girl once a week baby when i tell y'all i told y'all this in a recent video but when i tell y'all you have to wash your washcloths and replace them because okay i know but i know good body washes but out of nowhere my good body washes stop getting so soapy i'm like i'm gonna have to call this brand because girl it's you your washcloth nasty with all kinds of build up change your washcloth i changed my washcloth my body wash is working better than ever so that was me my little dirty self sitting i'm not washing my washcloth i'm just playing i forgot it's okay we all forget sometimes so i say once a week to be realistic because i used to be like twice three times a week girl no once a week is fine so go ahead and wash your washcloths and change out your towels your washcloths etc etc once a week is perfect so make sure you wash your washcloth so that your body washes and your bar soaps can get extremely soapy you ain't gonna experience the amazing lather without a clean washcloth okay fresh clean surface how to tell my friend they smell okay i didn't think i was gonna have to like have a question where i literally was like i don't know like a question that i have to ask you guys to put in the comments what you think the best way to go about this is because i don't know how i could tell a friend they have a sm like i don't think i could tell a friend they got a smell like if you have the money buy them some like body care products and stuff like that and like you know stuff that you feel like they would need if you have the money to do so because like and like give it as a gift and like i don't know i don't know how to do it because there's this one girl um that i was around and her odor was like really intense and like when i bought her body care products she didn't use them and she wasn't grateful for them at all so um i don't know how to go about that like <laughs> show them one of my videos <laughs> show them one of my videos <laughs> Show them a video that's like, show them this clip. Hey girl, smelling good is the way to go. Boost your confidence and smell great. I'm telling you right now, go to the store, get some products and freshen up. Show them that, we gonna be good after that, all right? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Y'all gonna have to go ahead and comment down below. What the heck we need to do when we smell somebody that we love smelling some kind of way? What we gonna do? And last but not least, the last quest question, the last question is shower or bath? Shower or bath? So like, oh, like if this was a question, like if I had to do one or the other for the rest of my life, like if it's that kind of question, then would I still have access to a sink that I could wash my face in? Cause I'm not washing my face in bath water. I feel like I could wash my hair in bath water. Like I could do that, shower or bath. But I think the question is what's better? So my my eyes were really making noises. That was like crusty crab. 
Y'all hear that? Because baths make you smell like so much better and I have to occasionally have my baths. I'm just gonna say bath. But if it's about what's better, it depends on what you're doing. So if you're washing your hair, I would definitely say shower, like do stuff like that. Um, But baths, baths all day. I have to say baths because baths are like that girl. Yo, I don't have no more questions. I feel like it was the perfect amount of questions though and I feel like they were amazing questions. I'm not gonna lie, I was looking for more like, excuse me, I was looking for more like juicy questions, but I didn't get none, so that's okay. It wasn't meant, all right? We just gonna look at it that way. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel amazing. Amazing. Like I haven't filmed a video in so long and I'm just so excited to go ahead and get back I'm so excited to go ahead and try out my hygiene content again And I'm just so excited to go ahead and just get back on a good routine and get back to Chloe Yasmin and um, this time has been well needed and when I tell y'all I'm so grateful for y'all like I don't even know what to say But I'm not gonna ramble no longer. I love every single one of you guys. God bless y'all in Jesus name And I really hope that you guys went ahead and enjoy this q and I know I talk really fast, but that's me like you can understand it Like it's like watching a video at two times the speed, but like you would understand. I love y'all. Goodbye